Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Cardfight Vanguard market price watch for November 29th, 2016. Uh, a lot has changed in price uh, lately with a lot of upcoming sets revealed, so I thought I'd bring you guys uh, my market watch. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, starting off is the Tachikaze Stride Gluttony Dogma. This card was originally a $20 card, now jumping up to 31%, probably because the spark for the new Tachikaze support in set GBT10. Um, I don't see this card going down anytime soon. It's a restanding Vanguard. The only chance I'd see this card of a price decrease is if it were to be reprinted in the Revival Collection. Uh, I'm not sure what the chances of that happening are. I'm sure some people will be happy for that just because this card is pretty difficult to get. I think that also contributes to it being a $30 uh, card at the moment. Uh, next up we have uh, Rakuta Stealth Rogue Atoga Lord. Um, I think the main reason for this card's price increase, it's $20 lightly played. You can also see uh, pretty much a $24 value to $20 value for this card. For originally an $11 card, um, it has increased uh, quite substantially. I think it's just because people are expecting new Batana support uh, with the uh, main, I don't want to call him the villain of the series using new Batana or Chrono's like new rival per se. Uh, uses Nubatama, and this is a very well used card in the deck, so I can see why people would, you know, hype this card. It's really good, um, and I'm sure it will be definitely used in the upcoming deck. And also, Nightmare Doll Alice is still retaining a pretty good price range. You can see like $18 to $19 uh, range, and there's not too many on the market either uh, with this card. I would say uh, it'll hold this value until we see what the ratios for the Revival Collection are. Um, I don't know what rarity is of this card, if it's going to be double or triple or even a rare. Uh, once we get confirmed uh, for that, that can also set this price because people will always want triple rare still as well. Um, Extreme Battle to Victor, you can see the $14 lightly played uh, there, but um, this card is actually hitting $30 range with only having one seller um, on the market right now. Uh, they've revealed a lot of support for Victor in GBT10, which I can understand why this card is being so hyped up. I haven't looked at the price for the Secret Rare, but we can go ahead and check that out real quick just to see what... Uh, that price stands at. Um, we can see yeah, it's still repaining the same price, and I don't think I was looking at the SP. No, it is the triple rare. So the fact that this thing sold out means that people are getting ready. So if you have your victory play sets, uh, you know, congrats to you because they were originally just uh, you know like a ten to fifteen dollar card at the time. So they doubled in price uh, very quickly. Uh, up next is Revenger Raging Form Dragon. Lightly played $16, but I'm seeing a substantial $19 to $20 price for the card. It was originally in the 10 range, so it went up. And it is expecting a reprint in the uh, GBT09 pack. I think people are just waiting to see, like I've said before, ratio of what this card's pool rate will be. And the fact that this is the original, um, the new one has an alternate art, so popularity of the art can also affect the price. But once again, this card has jumped up multiple times just for Revenger support they used for this card and it happened again support means that the price increase is guaranteed for this unit uh, I talked about Galaxy Block Luger in my last price video, but it's still sitting at the $30 range for prices. Um, hard to get this card, definitely. Uh, same with Mon Block Luger, but this is the more expensive of the card. I think basically because people are expecting maybe a backup grade 3 to be revealed in GBT-010 as well to use with this card. So uh, this is going to be the more important of the two, which is why he is retaining the price increase. And next we have Transmigratory Dragon, Holy Squire Dragon. Uh, one for sale at $12, and then you can see the increase start to begin. We have two for 14 and then two more for 18 and those are the only ones on the market. Alfred's support was confirmed in the character booster coming out, meaning that this stride, which is specifically for Alfred, would definitely be used in the deck. Um, it's an unflip effect for unlocking units and giving power. So uh, the increase it makes sense. I don't think this card will be reprinted um, in the Revival Collection or in you know the Character Booster. So if you have your playset, you're ready for the deck. And also a surprising one uh, that I checked was Supreme Heavenly Battle Deity Susano. Uh, this card is sitting at a $23 range with just one on the market. It's close to being sold out until more you know appear. 
Uh, but it was like a $7 card for a good while now. And the fact that it jumped up so high means that people really are anticipating for the Team Try 3 character booster. I didn't see what the secret rare versions are, but when I remember correctly, they were very cheap at the time for a secret rare. Which, even the SP, which I'm very confused at, it, you can buy uh, SPs for 15 and meanwhile the triple rare is standing at 23 I think it's just because people bought out those triple rares very fast. Uh, but you can see the secret rare is sold out, which means people are understanding the hype. I guess there's just a couple, uh, you can see six secret rares left on the market. Um, up next we have a couple double rares to talk about. We have uh, Karma Collector, the Unflip Perfect Guard for Shadow Paladins. Uh, we have the Trial Deck coming out for Shadow Paladins uh, very soon, I think in the next couple weeks. Um, so the Unflip PGs are definitely going to be staple for people that don't want to use the new Ritual one. Uh, $20 range, I've seen this card stay in this area just because it's usable in most Shadow Paladin decks. I don't expect it to drop anytime soon either. Uh, like I said, hype for the new character in the show, wanting to use his deck. This card will definitely see play. And Witch Doctor Negro Lazy has actually uh, increased a little bit in price. I, it was always in the eight to nine dollar range, sitting at twelves now uh, for this car. With most of the prices, you can see. Uh, I think Night Rose did top recently, which means a hype for all the cards for the deck. Uh, the Night Rose Stride is still in the twenty dollar range, which is why I didn't feature her in this video. But I figured I'd give Negro Lazy a shout just because you don't really see. Uh, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 uh, specific cards being too, too expensive for decks. He is the exception for a lot of them. Uh, next, we have Ocean Keeper Plato, the Unflip Perfect Guard for Aqua Force. Uh, same scenario as Karma Collector. Uh, Thavis is getting support and other Aqua Force decks as well. Uh, Maelstrom and Blue Wave in set 9, meaning you know people that want to use this counter charge card in the deck will definitely want to pick him up. So sitting at a $15 range is understandable. Not as popular as Shadow Paladins, which is why I think it's just a little lower than it. And finally, to wrap up the video, we have Arbitrator Amano Sagiri, the Unflip Perfect Guard for uh, OTT. I'm seeing a small increase in this card's price, uh, very little at a time. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it's confirmed reprint in the um, Trinity Dragon uh, booster pack, but if it is not in there, we will definitely be getting some type of OTT. Uh, perfect guard and we'll see what that one does and how it will affect uh, what decks it'll be used in uh, but yeah that's it for this week's market price watch i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, do my best to keep you guys up to date on all these prices please don't forget to like and subscribe and kira qualia out